मॉर्निंग <laughs> I just pick up this I picked up this notepad and the pen and I started writing the titles of the videos which we are making mm-hmm. here before that Shmaila I had nothing in my mind then I picked up the pen and I wrote number 1 the first video second third fourth and you can check here I made a list of how many videos 36 videos 36 videos right so when you jot the ideas down mm-hmm. the functioning of your brain improves mm-hmm. now what you need to do This is the paper and the pen mm. and this is the cue card that they give you. For example, the topic is describe or talk about a movie that you once watched. Mm. First of all, you should write the name of the movie. Mm. And it's a good idea if you write that name down in English. Mm. Okay I mean it should be English movie otherwise it will be difficult or it will be difficult for the uh, I mean for you to elaborate on that if you say well uh, the movie i like the most is kabhi khushi kabhi gum <laughs> kabhi khushi sa- kabhi gum instead of that you should say sometimes happiness sometimes sadness or or maybe uh, your favorite movie is kuch kuch hota hai apna ilaaj kara je tenu kuch hunda hai te na like that so you can say my favorite movie is something happens or kau mau hunda you know what is kau mau you don't know that oh, you're unromantic kau mau is a feeling actually okay. yeah they call it kau mau main jiddon vi tenu vekhdi ha mera dil kare kau mau kau mau now you understand kau mau Yeah, Kaumau is a feeling. Exactly. I said, uh, don't you think it's better if if we write any English movie? That's a very good idea. तो जे किसी ने विखी ना होए ता. Sometimes you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and by the way, Punjabi people, like mm-hmm. I'm Punjabi, we Punjabi people love English movies so much. <laughs> even if we don't understand, even we don't know the name of the movie, mm-hmm. then people ask uh, people ask us question. Once we watch a Punjabi movie, our friends. हाँ भी जट्टा कि फिल्म वेखी सी वो जिंद च बुलाब बंदे खादी है गॉड जिला इंदी फिल्म वेखी सी वो जिंद च जहाज डुब जाता है Titanic, <laughs> exactly. Okay, so they explain the movie like that. Oh, Khundi, badi Sony kuri hundi. Jahan che jandi, unu dubban nii denda. Kanjar ab dub janda. Something like that. Okay, so I mean, you need to write the name of the movie in English. Mm-hmm. Now, it's very important to make your outline on the piece mm-hmm. of paper. Have you ever seen sometimes the heads of states, mm-hmm. sometimes prime ministers, chief ministers, and all that? They have a small notepad with them, mm-hmm. and then as they speak they have the points mm. so you need to jot down the points i call it outline mm. you need to make an outline now same for example if you are talking about this movie warning mm. never write para never try to write sentences mm. never try to write paragraphs all you need to do you need to write the headings because you know you can explain the heading or the outline so but you cannot write full story full they try to write and in <laughs> one minute how much can you write you can't write full story okay so don't be silly like that now listen the topic is describe or talk about a film that you once watched hmm. now you wrote the name of the film titanic tai means two and a half in punjabi <laughs> titanic right then you should say when you watched the film hmm. now you need to write a note last year with my friends in 
theater or at home or somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you can explain that. Now I tell you how to explain it. Let's pick up this mm -hmm. outline. I want to make this video more informative. Okay. Now the outline is like last year and you should add some more. Last year on my birthday with my friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, now how to speak on this note. Okay. Well, in fact, actually, I watched this movie last year. I still remember on 10th of July, it was my birthday and my friends asked me that I should give them a treat in the form of showing them this mm -hmm. movie. So I took all my friends along and we went to Royalty Cinema. That is the best cinema of our town. And there I showed this movie to my friends and I also watched it. See that? Mm -hmm. This is how we elaborate and the point is only last year birthday. So you should last write... Last year birthday. Yes. Exactly. You should write points like this. Now, when they say what was in the movie, now you have to control yourself. Mm -hmm. Control means if you're talking about Titanic, so don't tell everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And sometimes students become so emotional. Let's say it's a Hindi movie, so I will tell you the songs also. And then they say, examiner, if you please allow me, I will show you some dancing steps of the song <laughs> as my well. my voice is very good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't be emotional when the question is, what is the book about? Mm. What was the movie about? And many students speak on this point for two minutes mm. and then examiner says, please stop, that's enough. And Asad, one more thing, uh, students sometimes repeat the point. Okay guys, always remember repetition in IELTS speaking is the band killer. Mm. Now what is repetition? Two things. Mm -hmm. One is you read the point from the topic card. Mm. Now on the topic card, it's written what the movie was about or what was the film about. Mm. Right? And you say, okay, what was the film about? Uh, this film was about this, 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 and that, 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 right? So you should not read mm. the points loudly in front of the examiner. Mm. Second, this is not a good idea. You say, Baji, to see ek karke minu puchhi jao, te mein thano da si jaoanga, okay? Okay. So innocent, yeah, to see ek karke puchhi jao, mein da si jaoanga. Baji, te kena chal baay. Yeah, that's what I said in English. It is that uh, you give the cue card back to the examiner and ask the examiner to ask you the questions on the cue card one by one. You say, examiner, please, you ask Not these questions please, one sister, by one. Please. Yeah, sister, please, you ask all these questions and I'll answer. You know, jokes are good in native language. Yeah. Sometimes people don't understand. All right. So anyways, you should not read the topic loudly in front of the examiner. Repeat, uh, they repeat the same point again Yes, and again. do not repeat the same points time and again, same language, same vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Do not do that. And it, it's, it's another common thing that you say, this is a very interesting question. <laughs> I like this cue card. And a student of mine, I was conducting IELTS speaking mock test. A student came over there and he said, this cue card is very close to my heart. <laughs> Come on. How can? Take and this card with you. Yeah. <laughs> we don't take this card anymore. <laughs> All right. Yeah, as you said, this cue card is very close to my heart. Allah leja, tu hoy leja. Asi hor chapwalange, ha? Kise pa se the lagan dio sanu. So, okay, when he said. I was impressed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm telling you what happens with the examiner. When he said this cue card is very close to my heart, I took a look again at the cue card. It was normal. How come? <laughs> and then another student came from the same city mm -hmm. and again he repeated this cue card is very close to my heart. Then I realized their teacher train them in such a way. Mm -hmm. So if you do this in front of the examiner, they know already what mm -hmm. you are trying to do. And as a, uh, one more thing actually, uh, before starting their, uh, their cue card, uh, some students, they take too much time like, uh, well, this or that. Okay, and okay, okay, okay. They, they don't, don't to come the point. to point. Listen, you can take an indirect start. Hmm. We call it starting with some general ideas, hmm. but just three, four sentences, hmm. not too much. Another student of mine, because I'm telling you, I'm quite experienced. Hmm. He took one minute to describe the background thing. Hmm. And after one minute, he came to the cue card. Hmm. So don't do it. Just two to three sentences are more than enough. Then you need to come to the point, talk about cue card and explain and all that stuff, right? So anyways, we come back to the point we were talking about it. Uh, you need to write your outline in such a way that you look at the outline and it gives you the reason to speak. Mm. It gives you every reason to talk. Now, uh, for example, when they talk about what the movie was about, 
Now, if they say what the movie was about, don't tell all the story. This movie was about a person who used to play chess or cards, and yeah, movie. just say this movie was about a about a ship that finally crashed into the ocean or wrecked into the ocean, and, and it's briefly, all about briefly. exactly. It's all about a love story of uh, a boy and a girl. They were traveling on the same uh, ship, and their love started and finished on the same. Just tell the summary. Mm -hmm. And and one more thing, important thing, in IELTS speaking, never narrate a story. Now, what is a story? You start telling once upon a time, I went to watch a movie with my friends. We made a plan. What's the topic? Describe a movie that you like the most. So we decided to go there and actually the popcorns were not available. My friend said, we have chips. I said, no popcorn. He said, we have chips. I said, popcorn. At the end, we had a fight with each other. Then I punched on his face and then we did not watch the movie. Then we watched another movie and blah, blah, blah. Never start with a story. Listen very carefully what I'm going to say next. Whenever you speak on the cue card, speak in small chunks and pieces. Piece number one is the first cue. Piece number two is the second cue. Now piece number one should, piece number two should not be the continuation of this. You can pick up something else. For example, uh, what you did, talk about it separately. Where you did, Give the examiner a feeling after a little pause that now you are talking about where, mm -hmm. then move on how. So you should answer in bits and pieces, means the small portions, instead of giving one full story, never tell the story. So you can spend that one minute time, first read the main sentence. The main sentence is describe a city you once visited. Mm -hmm. So you write there London. Okay, or if you are from India, you write there Amritsar, hmm. you write there Moga or any city. If you are from Pakistan, you write there Lahore, Karachi, Islamabad. Islamabad. Hmm. You should say, when you went there, now you're going to make a little point about it. Last year with my family. Enough, more hmm. than enough. When you went there last year with my family, now you can speak on it. My family decided to go on some vacations and we wanted to visit another city. And then my father gave a suggestion that we should go to uh, this city because this city is very popular and it is in the north of the country and there are many beautiful mountains. So we made a plan and I went there with my family. Okay, now when you went there last year, uh, then they will ask you, what did you do there? In that city, we enjoyed many things because there was a beautiful river between the mountains or among the mountains. And the most enjoyable thing that I did over there, that was river rafting. I really enjoyed river rafting. Along with that, we ate trout fish. That was the first time that I ever ate trout fish. And we did that as well. You can talk in pieces. Instead of telling the whole story, we left home, my father was driving the car and I was pushing the car and blah, blah, blah. Just speak in bits and pieces. Focus the language. If the cue card is in past, speak past tense. Make a good outline and your outline, like you take a look at the outline, you can speak. Now, for example, Shmaila, I just use it again. <laughs> if I take a look at Starbucks hmm. coffee, just for example, mm -hmm. I mean, I take a look at Starbucks coffee and you want me, I mean, now this is like an outline. Mm -hmm. Say, well, Starbucks coffee is very, very popular all over the world. They've got their cafeterias and people really enjoy. What they enjoy most is not the coffee, but the service they provide when people come to Starbucks. The experience they have there, that is very important and very, very good one. I also wish to go to, Star see that? Mm -hmm. So it should be like an outline and you are speaking on that. Cue card is very, very important because through your cue card, you get a chance to demonstrate your English, mm. your language skills. So please prepare the notes like this. And after one minute, when the examiner says, you now have to speak on the topic for mm -hmm. one to two minutes and you are ready. Yes, <laughs> please. Why not? Okay. So like this, you need to deal with the cue card. Good, good. Listen, I mean, some examiners will appreciate you. Sometimes I would say you should learn to appreciate yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? At times, some students complain, the examiners did not even look at me. Very recently, one student 
complaint from India. Mm -hmm. uh, she said when I went to take my IELTS speaking test, examiner asked me a question and then she started playing with the fiddling with the papers uh -huh. and she was just doing oh, mar gaya, oh, paper gaya, something like that mm. she didn't speak mm. but actually she was looking for that and she said this action of the examiner distracted me a lot mm. and I couldn't answer properly as I had planned because you know candidates need attention if I'm talking to you right and you are playing with your mobile I'll say go I'll not talk to you mm. because I need your attention so you examiners should be good listeners now you are listening to me you're giving me feedback mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. this is the okay. feedback okay, okay. Good, yeah good. so examiners should give feedback and the feedback should be verbal and non-verbal mm. right so I mean you should be appreciated by the examiner if by chance examiners are not that friendly or they don't give you any proper feedback you should be excited because they will give you band score on your English mm -hmm. now just because of the thing that examiner was not looking at you examiner was not smiling at you you perform badly in your mm -hmm. speaking test don't do this this is your test mm -hmm. this is your life so even if examiner is not interested it doesn't yeah matter. sometimes you say you know sometimes you might have like I mean sorry I'm talking about this sometimes you know the girl is not interested in you but you are interested in the girl. Now the girl is walking, she says, excuse me, and the girl says, but you want to talk to her, excuse me, please listen to me, and then you talk to the girl. This is the same thing you need to have, right? Like if examiner is not interested, I am interested because this is my IELTS test mm. and you know, I've got to do it. So you can just do it like that. So it doesn't matter whether they appreciate you or they it doesn't don't. matter focus your speaking because they will give you band score on speaking mm. the way you speak the way you answer your fluency your pronunciation your grammatical range and accuracy and your vocabulary don't worry about mm -hmm. anything at all right nahi mandi aj te kal nu man jayegi yeah okay. exactly all the best uh, if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to comment and i also teach ielts online if you want to join my online arts classes my whatsapp number is given you can contact me for that at this moment we are here at jagran resort this resort is in the heart of Jagran Kashmir Valley and we've come all the way to make these videos. Thank you very much guys. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.